Ugh, exams. You arrive at the exam hall. Everyone's gathered outside like a herd of cows. Moods range from, I'm feeling good, to, I'm so screwed. There'll be people revising last minute. Pi R squared sounds like area to me. Whilst others are like, it's in God's hands now. I tell you what, you see more emotions outside an exam hall than you do on an entire episode of Love Island. You'll see people who are cranky. Oh look, what is the point of all this? You see people who aren't really motivated. I'm so tired. And you see people with other things on their mind. I'm hungry. You get people ferreting around asking, have you revised? And the most reassuring thing you can hear in this moment is, nah mate, I ain't revised either. But don't listen to them, you old flues, they're lying! You start entering the hall. The cocky ones swaggering like, yeah, come at me, AQA! Whilst the nervous ones start sweating more than a porn star on set. Someone will forget a lot more than just all the revision they've done. You can take out your pens and start writing now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Now the exam itself makes Alton Towers Oblivion look like a teacup ride. Your handwriting gets worse as the exam goes on which leads to you thinking you've gone back to age 6. Your stomach starts making noises that only killer whales could understand. And your bladder starts expanding at a pace that would make Usain Bolt look like a human snail. Oh my god, please don't have an accident like Will of the Inbetweeners. Shall I tell you who is the spawn of Satan? People who do this. You'll have that realisation that the clock hates you more than I hate spots. Oh, for once in your pathetic TikTok life will you just slow down? You'll spend half your time glaring at the invigilators thinking, has she got a moustache? There's that awful moment when you see everyone else turning over their page whilst you're sat there like, what's my name? Some smart ass will pipe up and say, excuse me, can I have an extra piece of paper, please? But you'll move just one millimeter on one of those poxy plastic chairs and it will squeak so much, it will sound like you've just choked out Stuart Little. Someone will fart and instantly be given legendary status. And how do you react when the invigilators say you've got five minutes left? Ah! If you finish early, not sure if I'm really clever or I've completely messed that up. Overall, you look at that exam like it's written in ancient Greek. Afterwards, one of your mates will say, yeah, question two was easy, weren't it? Whilst you're stood there thinking question two was harder than 12 shots of Sambuca. And trust me, that's tough. <laughs> but once it's all over, you'll do that one thing you know you shouldn't do. Discuss the answers. The answer was 21. Uh, no, the answer was 22. Stevie, what did you put? I put Harambe. Hello you old flutes, my name is Stevie Nose and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this video, Mog has a few requests. She said could you click like, comment below, subscribe and turn your post notifications on. <laughs> so guys, the reason I wanted to do this video now is because I know a lot of you have had exams recently or you've got some coming up. And I will do more videos on revision and exams near the summer because that's when it's like crunch time. But a lot of you have messaged me on my Snapchat and on my Instagram asking me for my advice on how to tackle exam season. And just so we're clear, I was never an academic. Like, I was your solid C grade student. But because I've been through it, if I can help you guys in any way, I'm going to do that. To, to break this down properly, let's do a list. One, your mental health is the most important thing here. Two, please do not compare yourself to anyone else. Three, as long as you prepare right and you put the work in and after each exam you walk out of that hall knowing you couldn't have done any more, then you're cool. Four, finish the paper. And five, just do your absolute best. Now, I know it's easy for me to sit here and say all this when it's you going through it, but I know what it's like and I know how it feels, but Trust me on this one, everything will be okay. Regardless of what happens, everything will be okay. Because I believe in you, so all you've got to do is start believing in yourself a little bit more. So obviously, when I was planning this video, it got me reminiscing back to when I was doing exams. And there are three things that really stick out, and I'm going to tell you each of them right now. So firstly, it was my mock sociology exam, and my mate was sat directly in front of me. 
and, and we were passing notes to each other. So our sociology teacher clocks this, comes galloping over towards us, proper gets in my face and she's like, I'm gonna have you disqualified, you can't be cheating during exams. So I was like, miss, take a breath, read what's on the note. So she's got a face like a constipated rat and she's opening this note and all of a sudden she just kind of goes, oh. And basically me and my mate were passing notes to each other with names of the footballers that we were gonna buy on FIFA. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we were stupid. We shouldn't have been doing that. But um, that her, her, her face was a picture. <laughs> Secondly, it was a maths module exam and I got sat parallel to my crush. So basically my concentration went from the exam to her just like that. And I literally spent the next hour and a half just trying to impress her and just like show off in front of her. I mean, I was an absolute idiot. I wonder what she's doing right now. And thirdly, oh my God guys, so pitch the scene, first exam, first GCC exam, it's ETC, the entire year group is there in our hall about to take the exam. It gets to about halfway and all of a sudden you hear this massive splat. And what happened? This, this poor bloke just threw up everywhere. And that was it. The entire room just erupted. Everyone's laughing. Everyone's just like, oh, it stinks. I mean, seriously, the, the, the smell was atrocious. So in conclusion, don't get sat next to your mate. Don't get sat next to your crush and stay away from someone that looks like they're about to throw up everywhere. <laughs> Right, I've taken up enough of your time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have got exams coming up, you've got this. And if you haven't got exams coming up, come on. <laughs> All that's left to say is, who knows? Stevie knows. See you later.